positive expectations. This was given to me actually by a 16 year old that worked as an intern for me at the Port of Seattle two years ago. And I carry this around because I think that I'm excited to continue to serve Bellevue because it is about how we make sure that we continue to lead with positive expectations about what we can do to make the city better, to unite us for the best the city can be so everyone can thrive. And this was actually a student that I would say came from a home that was struggling. And what I saw was the fact that he actually was this ray of sunshine about giving us hope. And I think that in our really divisive society now, we need more people that can bring people together and work through the kind of challenges that we do in our community. So for me, I'm just excited to continue to work on behalf of the citizens of Bellevue as well as the region. And I hope that everyone joins me. So thank you very much for being here. And people ask me, you know, you have a, a lot of, you're very busy, you work at the Port of Seattle, now you work in Bellevue, how do you get everything done? And I do want to say that I make, this is only possible because Dwayne is just amazing. He makes sure that... Yay! situation where we can give back to the community, we have to do it because a lot of people are on survival mode where they may work more than one job. I think there's a lot more work to do in our school district to make sure that we're inclusive of making sure that all the students thrive. I think our community is one where when I think about the fact that 20% of the people that live in Bellevue make less than $50,000 a year, and yet 25% make more than 200,000. There is a big divide in terms of how we make sure that that our, our community is served. And that is also the folks that are in the middle, the, the ones that are our teachers and our nurses, our retail, our firefighters, um, our teachers, all the people that are in our community. And if they can't afford to live here and be part of our community, I think we're losing something there. And that's one of the things that I think we need to work on, along with transportation. And there were a couple of folks that were here earlier that connected around how we do more for our environment. Because with an 18 and a 21 year old, I want to make sure that we actually have a city and a community and a world where when they have children, they can actually go and swim in the lake and be out in nature and not be dealing with a lot of the huge climate um, changes that we're seeing even now. Um, Leah, who's 18, is down in LA going to school. And every time I see a fire going on down in Cali Southern California, I worry about the community down there. And so um, just um, excited to get going and, and keep serving our community. Thank you. Thanks.